guys, it's Aubrey here from Hippocampus 12, and I haven't posted a video in a long time, and you can see that we are doing the baldness again, yes, because, ah, uh, it didn't work. Well, it was their first spawn, and we're doing it again. Her thing is foggy, so clean it out here, but it's a bigger one this time, but it's the sides, ugh. He's still making it, I think, because it's still getting bigger. So. Um, I've seen in the comments that um, people have already hatched their beta fish, and they're wanting to know what to feed them. So I'll be right back and I'll tell you. So I took almost three pages of notes here uh, from a website that I'll share with you later, and. Um, after the eggs are hatched, the male beta should be under the bubble nest. Um, that's where he's just going to be. He's just going to be bored and everything. And yeah. He will also gurgle and spit the egg back in the bubble nest if, if you are at this point right now. He will also eat the bad eggs to let the good eggs live. Oh, also remember to keep the lights on so he can see the falling eggs. But don't feed... Don't feed him. Don't feed him. Um, I'll tell you. And the problems, I had the problems here. And the problems are at this point while watching the, waiting for the eggs to be hatched is uh, the male eats some or all of the eggs. The male beta will not attend the bubble nest. And the bubble nest falls apart. Now that's what happened to me is the bubble nest fell apart. It just started dissolving, so I eventually had to destroy it. Now, if you, if the um, fry do hatch, it will look like little hairs under the bubble nest, and like they will also like bounce, like like it's so hard to explain, like what my finger did. <laughs> yeah, and the male will also be very busy, like going down and up to put the babies back. Um, so hopefully I'll get a video of that. And I'll explain this on the next step. This is just the problems and information. Um, yeah. After a day or two, the fry might settle to the surface and able to float. Um, also, no, you don't need to feed the fry. They will eat their yolk sac. Um, okay, and then the problems are the male eats some or all of the fry and the fry dive for free swimming. And after they're free swimming, you're going to be pretty lucky. Free swimming is to, is to straighten out their position and swim in a horizontal position. So, horizontal means straight, I think. But some will die, so don't be disappointed if they die. Okay, now feeding the fry. This is the one that did comments. And I don't mind that. That's fine. Um, after they eat the yolk sac, which should be in a couple days... Yeah, in like two days, you should start feeding them. Hold on. This is like Infusoria, but it's more like microworms. Ugh. And I got it from Amazon. So you can feed them Infusoria, I think that's how you say it, or microworms. And after two weeks of that, you should, you can start feeding them baby brine shrimp, I think, till like three months. And then you can start feeding them regular baby food. Oh, and also don't feed, um, don't feed the beta fish till he's back in his tank, because after they start free swimming, you put the male back in his tank, so, and then you can start feeding. And don't clean the tank for the first two weeks. After that, you can start changing the water, and cleaning them, and yeah. So, if you guys have any que more questions, just tell me, because... I had some problems too, and yeah, so please just ask me in the comments of this, and I'll answer your questions because I probably didn't get it all, but thanks for watching guys, and hopefully you'll see Fry the next video, okay? Bye guys!